All right, moving on to sports. The Eagles pulled off a big win against the Jets without quarterback Jalen Hurts. Jeff Skiverski joins us live in studio with the recap. Jeff. Minshew mania, but expect Jalen Hurts to return when they come back from the bye. How about Gardner Minshew? He's got the mustache, the personality, and man, does he have an arm. The Eagles throw him out there for the injured Jalen Hurts, and Minshew, a perfect start. He's even cracking jokes in the huddle. Minshew is fired up and letting it fly against the Jets. Starts 11 for 11. Perfect passer rating in the first half. Here on the opening drive, Dallas Goddard got it. 36-yard touchdown. Eagles up one. Could we have a quarterback controversy? No. Hurts will start when the ankle feels better. But Minshew looks like QB1. Second drive, another great pass to Goddard. Career high, two touchdowns on 105 yards for Dallas. Minshew's fired up. He leads them on scoring drives on each of their first seven possessions. Best run in a decade. How about this run? Kenny Gainwell. Eagles back in front. They never look back. 33-18. Eagles. Minshew wins his first start. He celebrates with teammates and fans. He's so loose, he's even cracking jokes in the huddle. All right, so go out there and, and, and be yourself, and, and that's going to be enough. And so he, he did. He went out there, and he, he played a really, really outstanding game. I'm really, really happy for, for Gardner and, and the game that he played. I love him. I love him. Uh, Gardner, Gardner's a character. <laughs> he's cracking jokes in the huddle. Um, but, uh, no, nah, he, he loves to compete, and you can see it. I'm um, always dead serious all the time. I would never, <laughs> ever joke, especially in a game. <laughs> No, I mean, I, I like to have fun, man, especially when you're winning like we are, running the ball. Uh, you know, it's fun to have fun out there. They were calling him Top Gun with that jacket. All right, nightmare situation for the Union. And the biggest game in team history as they're playing for a shot in the cup final, the Union have 11 players out. Due to COVID, the Union severely shorthanded for their first ever conference final against New York City. It comes down to the wire. 63rd minute for Casper Shabilko off a New Yorker and in. Union take a lead. Up 1-0. The celebration does not last long. Backup goalie Matt Freeze under fire. Two minutes later, they can't stop it. Maxi Morales ties it. Then 88th minute, Jim Curtin will be haunted by this. Bad D, Olivier Baizo misplays it. Good night. Union eliminated 2-1. Awful way to go out. Here's Jamie Apote. Jeff, Jim Curtin said when he wrote out the lineup card before the game, there were some names of players he didn't even know how to spell because they were so new. Such a nightmare scenario for this team who was playing in the biggest game in franchise history and now will always wonder what could have been. The emotion showing on Union's faces after falling one win short of playing for a championship, missing 11 players, six of those starters due to COVID protocols. Curtin said this game will haunt him forever. You're at a loss for words, man. I feel like I'm, I just feel bad for the guys that weren't here uh, because again, they had incredible seasons. Um, COVID sucks. I don't know how else to put it. Uh, the protocols are the protocols, but yeah, could, could they, could they be updated, adjusted for common sense? I don't know. Again, it hurts. And now NYCFC will play Portland on Saturday for the MLS Cup Championship. By the way, no players were made available after the game, which is very rare, even under these strange times we are living in. They've got to be just devastated. In Chester, Jamie Pody, Fraction News at 10 on PHL 17. The Flyers are beyond ice cold. They're awful. Captain Claude Giroux calls it embarrassing tonight. Flyers blown out, boot off the ice as they lose eight in a row. Boy, do the Flyers need a jump start or what tonight against Tampa. Carter Hart can't stop this. Ryan McDonough. Yeah, Flyers down one nothing. Just a minute later, the lightning strike twice. Corey Perry. It's 2-0. Coach Elaine Vigneault is on the hot seat. He knows it. This gets out of hand. Hart misplays this on the power play. Are you kidding me? Short-handed. Hart is pulled and pulled the plug on this. Flyers lose 7-1. They have lost eight straight for the first time in three years. I played a lot of uh, embarrassing games, and uh, this is, uh, this is uh, one of them. And we need to figure it out pretty quick here. i got to find a way to get this group to play better. We're... Uh, we're in a, a bad skid right now, and we need to end this. Yeah, they're two away from tying the record for most consecutive losses in team wow. history. The good news is they get right back at it tomorrow. Try to put this behind them. All right. Thank you, Jeff.